<laughs> Hello everyone, we have here one of the official candidates for this year's Miss World Philippines. Introduce yourself first. Hi everyone, my name is Dia Mate. I'm 22 years old and I will be representing the province of Cavite. Of course, very familiar siya, right? Also Dia, tell us more something about yourself. So, I am a singer-songwriter and music producer signed under Island Records Philippines and I release music on Apple Music and Spotify and currently I have a single out now called Ocean of Emotion that recently came out. Alright. So, um, of course, para mas ma-refresh pa yung ano, um, memory ng ating mga viewers, Dia, of course, represented Cavite at the recently concluded Miss Universe Philippines. So, Adia, what made you decide to join again? I felt that after the Miss Universe Philippines pageant, I felt that it wasn't over for me. I may have not gotten into the top 20, but my journey just began. And I really felt that fire inside me that motivated me to not stop pageantry, but to continue it. And I thought Miss World would be the perfect next pageant to join, physically, mentally ready. And I'm so excited for this journey. Oh. All right. Um... Anong sabi naman ni ano ni boyfriend? Ah. <laughs> nung uh, mag nung uh, when you didn't make it and now that you're joining again. Well, of course, he was very supportive, um, very comforting. When I didn't make it sa top twenty, he was really concerned. He tried to see me backstage, but of course, he couldn't wala siya pas, ba? <laughs> Pero afterwards, he treated me to dinner. He was really caring, and he told me na parang don't ever give up. You know, you're meant for so, such good things. And when I told him about Miss World and joining, he was so supportive. He said, go, chase your dreams, do it, because I know you can do it. And it really motivated me even more to take on this next chapter of my life. All right. Um, your advocacy. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. So my advocacy is music therapy to aid mental health. And growing up, kasi, I experience a lot of mental health issues whether that be depression and anxiety but the one thing that kept me sane was music writing down my feelings on a piece of paper making it into a song or making it instrumental and that was my way of therapy when i couldn't talk to anyone or felt like i was alone and that's how i want other people to see music it's not just a enter an entertainment tool but it's also a, a therapeutic tool that can help others all right yeah. um well of course, it's just a few days after the uh, Miss Universe Philippines competition. Um, is there anything that um, I kailangan mong improve or um, sa tingin mo um, what you um, what your experience what you have experienced from the Miss Universe Philippines are already enough on this year's competition? I feel like when I started Miss Universe Philippines, I was just a baby. Um, baby in the pageant industry, it was, was my first national pageant, but going through that whole journey with all of the supporters and my family and winning these awards, I gained so much confidence in myself, in my passerella and my Q&A skills. And I feel like I truly did my best in Miss Universe. And of course, you're always going to have room for improvement and I'm always going to keep training in order for to have my best performance in Miss World. And my biggest takeaway talaga from Miss Universe was all of the connections that I made, the friendships, and the greater confidence in myself. All right. Uh, meron ka bang um, gustong pasalamatan? I would like to thank everyone, especially the pageant fans, music supporters, for being there for me throughout my Miss Universe Philippines journey and now into my Miss World journey. And I can't wait for you all to see what I have to offer in this journey of mine. All right. Once again, guys, Dia Rimulia Mate from Cavite. Cavite.